By now, you should be acquainted with the theory behind infrared spectroscopy. There are many different types of IR spectrophotometers. In your experiments, you'll be using the Nicolette IS-10 FTIR. Keep in mind, the salt plates we use are fragile and expensive. Water will damage them. We keep the plates in a closed container with silica gel desiccant. Start by removing the plates carefully. Try to handle them by their edges. Rinse both sides of each cell with acetone and let dry. First collect a background spectrum. Place the clean, dry salt plates in the holder. Be careful when closing the holder, too much pressure will crack the plates. Open the spectrophotometer and insert the sample holder in the slot marked by the arrows. Open the Omnic application and click Collect Background. When the scan is complete, a dialog box will appear. This is just the background, so click No. Don't add it to the window. Now you're ready to run the sample by sandwiching it between these two salt plates. Remove the top salt plate from the holder and place it on a fresh Kim wipe. If your sample is a liquid, simply place one or two drops onto the bottom salt plate. Cover with the other salt plate and close the holder, being careful not to apply too much pressure. Solid samples need to be dissolved in a volatile solvent first. In this case, we're sure the solid dissolves in acetone. Let the acetone evaporate completely, leaving a thin film of the solid. Reassemble the holder and return it to the spectrophotometer. In Omnic, click Collect Sample. When the scan is complete, a dialog box will appear. This time, click Yes to keep the spectrum in the window. Then click Find Peaks. You can adjust the detection threshold manually. Finally, click Print to produce a hard copy. Now that the spectrum is done, it's time to clean up. Rinse both salt plates thoroughly with acetone. Discard the acetone wash into an appropriate waste container. Carefully pack them up in a fresh Kim wipe and back into the pouch.